Moon with Venus in the horoscope. A lot of astrologers will tell you it's a great combination, it's fantastic, it only gives positive things, but actually it's not. It's uh, some of the more difficult combinations for some things. For other things, it's a very positive combination. And I'll talk about the both sides of Moon and Venus, close aspects, which is the opposition or the conjunction. This is the aspect I'm talking about. And you can find out if you have Moon with Venus in the same sign or conjunction, as we call it. If you go to my birth chart calculator where there is, um, I'm putting a link for it, just put your time, place of birth, and check if you have Venus, which is indicated with the letters VE, or the Moon with the letters MO, together in the same sector, uh, like triangle or square, it means they're together in the same sign. Or check also friends of yours or relatives, and you can get an insight into their personality. So first of all, the Moon shows your emotional, your default emotional state of being, your emotional reactions, how your natural personality is. And if it's the Moon is with Venus and no difficult other planets like Saturn or Mars, which can make the personality much more harsher and crueler, such a person with Moon, Venus mostly only, you know, I tend to be very loving, very giving, very affectionate. Uh, others would love to be around such a person because often he's like, he represents the Venusian qualities, which are, you know, pleasant, accommodating, uh, person who brings amusement and fun, person who makes others feel good, who, who makes others feel comfortable, a person who is a very sweet disposition, basically, unless, say, Saturn is expecting opposite or, or Mars is there or the sun is is there as well to ruin all this, you know, uh, or North Node or South Node, which can make a bit more uh, of difficult influences there. But overall, such a person will be quite uh, loving, sweet, gentle, you know. And the moon shows the environment that you're most used to from young or from past lives. If you believe in past lives, what environment such person was living in, uh, and such they'll naturally attract such circumstances and environments in their adult lives now. And such people would often have grown up in a more cultured, sophisticated, arty environment, or somehow easy, loving, full of affection, you know, more safety, full of luxuries and pleasures, unless, of course, there is a difficult planet expecting. Or like, even if they were not very rich, they would usually have good memories of the mother figure, of security in the family, of emotional, feeling emotionally stable and kind comforted, you know, no big extremes in childhood or in past lives, maybe the childhood was harder. Often the past lives were uh, in because the moon shows the past and our default settings. And when we're born with default settings, we, we just pick up from where we left, you know. So such people were in an environment of more luxurious Venusian things of pleasure, ease, comfort, you know. Um, and in this lifetime, they're much better suited for such jobs and they might feel literally physically sick if they're put in very disturbing circumstances or in like very Spartan or difficult or competitive where everyone is harsh or when, where there is too much discord, the per Venus person will remove themselves from there or they will try to rebalance this situation somehow uh, as a peacemaker, as a balancer, as a, you know, as a comforter. If there is pain around them, they'll try to comfort others. Venus is the planet of the nurse, the one that you know, calms others. Uh, and if they cannot do that, they'll just get very sick in such an environment. So they have to be very careful not to leave themselves unless they have difficult planets again with the moon as well, like Saturn, Mars, they can, then they can be more tough and tolerate such environments. And just like someone who has their moon with Saturn, for instance, which is a tough planet, from childhood they used to, they used to self-discipline to more harsh environments and they won't feel happy in too easy environments. They'll just not thrive there while a Venus moon person this is there they're like fish in water in such beautiful Venusian environments or even if they live more poorly they would make everything like to make things nice around them in their home in their office you'll see how they have a beautifying approach to things around them the moon Venus person and if they're feeling down which is indicated by the moon the emotions such people the best thing for them is you know to do some sensual pleasure 
because Venus rules sensual pleasure. It can really improve their mood. Like go for a nice walk in, with a beautiful view or just look at some, some sunset, eat some good food, watch some beautiful women if you have to, you know, or just go on a date with someone pleasant, socializing environment, go to a museum, watch something beautiful to an exhibition, buy yourself some clothes, you know, pamper yourself. Venus is the nice, pleasant things we like to do. Listen to some good music. Venus is music. So such comforting, ease things. And you'd say, well, everyone comforts themselves like that when they're feeling bad emotionally. It's not true. Actually, this won't do much for someone who has, say, moon with Mars. Such a person can only, Mars is an energetic planet when they're feeling down, the emotions, they feelings the best way for them to you know often would be like to go and run do something physical or go and fix the problem just don't escape it like venus can go into pleasurable things more you know or if it's moon with saturn such person you know saturn is a harsh spartan planet which is self-disciplined uh, go fast if you're feeling down don't eat too much cut off some people restrict eliminate some things from your life then you'll feel better this is like how a moon Saturn person feel better, but anyway, we're talking about Moon Venus person, uh, and they just need to place themselves in harmonious, pleasant environments with people they like, and they'll feel better after that. Which some good music, some indulgence of the five senses. But let's look at the darker side of this combination. When, why is the Moon with uh, Venus difficult? It creates problems in the relationships of those people because moon is enemy of venus so in all these other things is great but when it comes to relationship these people tend to suffer more and have more starved relationships as they say or they have more emotional drama there because the moon is emotionalism and venus is relationship so when you make the relationship all about the feelings the sensitivities the emotionalism uh, you create a very volatile situation their relationship Venus should be about equality, objectivity, equal and give and take. And when you include the moon there, these people are not objective. Even if they see it's not the right partner, they would go and do a emotional choice or action based on their feelings and not on rationality and not on the judging and measuring what is, you know, uh, the cons and pros. Venus is the planet of assessing and measuring uh, the situation from all situations, from all the sides. That's why it's the planet of relationship. The best relationships are the ones where you assess the pros and cons, you know, and you approach them, you know, um, in a more objective manner and where you don't allow always one to give or the other one to take only. But the moon with Venus person, even if they see that the cons are less than the, well, whatever, the no's are less, more than the yeses, they'll still go, they'll just follow their heart because the feelings overpower their uh, more rational ability to make correct decisions in relationships. And because Venus, even though you say relationships is about emotions, it's not true because the Venus, the planet of love and relationships and happy relationships, rules two signs. One is Earth sign, Taurus, which is practical. So you have to be practical in relationships. Uh, and the other one is uh, air sign, Libra, which is uh, air is very objective and rational. So it's very fair sign. So you have to be objective, rational, fair in relationships if you want to have them happy. Uh, and of course, moon with Venus people, this rationality, this objectivity is lacking. It's all feelings, it's all emotions. They become overly sensitive in relationships. They make it all about themselves because the moon is the self. So they maybe invest too much from themselves. So they, they're very sensitive to every reaction of the person, of the partner. They're very needy sometimes. And they, the partner might feel like they have to walk around eggshells, on eggshells around them because of this sensitivity. Uh, or uh, in men, relationships, it can play out uh, by them projecting those planets to the partner because Venus rules the female marriage partner in a horoscope of a male. So when it's with the moon, the female marriage partner or girlfriends who would attract, Tom Cruise has this combination, can be, uh, you know, very affectionate and loving, uh, and very like moon-like, very feminine as well, but at the same time, they can be very sensitive, they can be moody, which are qualities of the moon. They can be, you know, he has to walk around them on eggshells or, uh, you know, the man, or they can be a bit of a paternal figure to him. They might take care of the person, of the male, 
as a mother, he might attract women who mother him a lot, or the opposite, he might attract the women that he tries to mother and parent around, you know. Uh, sometimes there are projections, you don't know how exactly it's going to play out, but there is this maternal child uh, thing in their relationships, which is often detrimental for relationships. When you go to a psychologist, the first thing they check is if you're treating a relationship psychologist, if, you're, if one, of the parent, uh, one of the partners is treating the other one as a parent because then uh, the uh, relationship is starved because the other partner start, starts looking at them as a, not as a lover and equal partner but as a parent you know so this is what happens when venus moon people or v for a lot of venus moon people their relationship feels starved because of this changing of roles of uh, paternal rather than relationship uh, paternal behaviors rather than relationship behaviors uh, and uh, also they make it they're more sensitive more about themselves so this is where the difficulties come and the emotionalism in such relationships but I have a more in-depth article about Venus Moon in my website for which I'm putting a link here if you find it easier to read to ruminate to think about it read that article it's more in-depth and it will give you more you know, uh, understanding of this position. And uh, there is one actually, as partners, Venus, Moon people are not going to be, you know, they can be the most affectionate and loving partners. They can be very sensitive and caring for the needs of the partner, but they can be overly emotional. And this, this is what will create a lot of drama into the relationships and taking things personally, you know. And of course, they can always be achieved balance if a person is aware of this tendency with age, they can learn to control it. So it's not all doom and gloom, but you'll see a lot of people with these positions, unless there is some helping planet for Venus, like Mercury, in, in mixed up in the, uh, together with the moon and Venus, uh, which will give them some objectivity and more rationality in their approach to relationships rather than just sensitivity. So thank you very much and please give us your feedback.